Howdy, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today on Skillet Sundays, we're gonna be making cast iron cinnamon rolls. We're actually making the dough tonight and we're gonna cook the cinnamon rolls tomorrow morning. So these are just the ingredients for the dough. Tomorrow I'll talk about the ingredients for the icing as well as the mixture that goes inside of the cinnamon rolls. So what you're gonna need for the dough is flour, sugar, a little kosher salt, some honey, three eggs, a stick of butter, a fourth a cup of warm water, and then a cup and a half of warm milk. You're also going to need a packet of active dry yeast. Make sure you don't get instant yeast, you need active dry yeast for this. So we're gonna start with one packet of active dry yeast. Again, remember active dry yeast, not instant yeast. Then you're gonna take a quarter cup of warm water and pour that in with the yeast. And you'll just kind of mix that up till it dissolves into the water. Once your yeast is dissolved, you're gonna add a cup and a half of warm milk. I just microwaved this for about 45 seconds or so. You'll add a fourth a cup of sugar. Next, you'll add three tablespoons of honey. Then you'll add three eggs. Attach your bread hook. You'll want to go ahead and measure out five and a half cups of flour and add one teaspoon of salt to that flour. And turn your blender to stir and then just start adding in the flour. Occasionally you want to stop it and just scrape the sides of the bowl to make sure you get all the flour on the inside. Next you will add the softened butter. Go ahead and cut it into about eight or 10 chunks and add it in slowly. You may need to stop it again to scrape the sides. At this point you can go ahead and turn it up to beat the dough. Once the dough looks nice and smooth, you can go ahead and stop it and we're gonna move to the next step. So next you'll wanna prepare a floured work surface. I have some parchment paper with some flour on it. And you will take your dough and scrape it out of the bowl onto this surface. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the bowl that I just used with some grease here because we're gonna put the dough back in there. As you can see, the dough is pretty sticky. So I'm gonna get some flour on my hands for this. And you're gonna knead the dough for about five to six minutes here. You're really just doing this till it gets smooth. After five minutes is up, you're gonna get your dough into a nice little ball and you'll place into the bowl that you just greased. And you're gonna take a piece of plastic wrap and put that over the top and then cover with a clean towel. And you'll put it in a warm spot like the microwave for about an hour. After one hour, you can remove the towel and the plastic wrap. Save the plastic wrap as you'll need it again. Go ahead and prepare yourself a floured working surface. You may need to spray your bowl again. So now you're going to knead the dough for another two to three minutes or so.
So you'll take the dough, get it into a ball again, and set it into your bowl. Go ahead and take the plastic wrap. And set it on top. Take your towel, put it over, and you'll place it in the microwave for another hour. After one hour is up, you can either skip ahead to the next step that we'll do in the morning, or if you're making it the night before, you'll go ahead and take the dough and put it into the fridge after one hour. And I recommend spraying the top of the saran wrap of the side that's gonna be on the dough so your dough does not stick to the saran wrap. Good morning, everyone. So this morning, we'll go ahead and pull the dough out of the refrigerator. And I have the ingredients that you're gonna to need to finish off your cinnamon rolls. So for the inside of the cinnamon roll, you're going to need a cup of brown sugar, a cup of regular sugar. You'll need one stick of melted butter and a little bit of ground cinnamon. For the frosting, you're gonna need about three cups of powdered sugar, some vanilla extract, and two to four tablespoons of milk. It kind of depends what your consistency ends up being. You're also gonna need an egg to do an egg wash before you cook the cinnamon rolls. So now we'll go ahead and get started rolling out our dough. Okay, so you wanna start with a lightly floured work surface here. You're gonna need a rolling pin. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get some flour on the rolling pin as well. Now we'll take our dough and we'll just lay it out there. So you're gonna to wanna to flatten this down into a rectangle to about a half inch to a quarter inch thickness. So now that you have it rolled out, you'll go ahead and get your one cup of brown sugar and granulated sugar. All right, go ahead and set that aside. Now you'll want to take your butter and either a pastry brush or some sort of brush and spread the butter out evenly across the surface here. So once you have that evenly distributed, you're gonna take your mixture here. And I think the easiest way is just to use your hand. And you'll just want to evenly distribute your entire mixture Now you're gonna take your ground cinnamon. You're gonna to wanna to give a good, generous sprinkle of cinnamon across the entire dough. All right, so you're gonna start at the long end here and just start rolling up pretty tight. Sometimes if you cut this in half and work with two different sections, it may be a little bit easier to work with. What I like to do here too is take a little bit of your butter. This will help keep your cinnamon roll closed. You just want to kind of push it together with your fingers a little bit here to kind of seal it off. Now you're going to want to take your cast iron skillet. Go ahead and spray the bottom there. We're going to get a knife now and we're going to cut these into two inch slices. You can go ahead and place them in your cast iron skillet. So really you can fit about seven in here. I've got a little bit of leftovers. If you have a smaller cast iron skillet, you can do that. Or if you're not gonna eat all these, just do you know four of them or however many you want and you can freeze the rest. So again, we're gonna go back to our plastic wrap here. And you'll want to cover the cinnamon rolls again in plastic wrap. Take your towel and set it over the top. You're gonna set this aside for another 30 minutes to an hour to let them rise. Now while your dough is rising, you wanna go ahead and make your frosting. You'll need three cups of powdered sugar. You'll need a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna do a teaspoon and a half because I like vanilla. And then you'll need a couple tablespoons of whole milk. I'm gonna start with two and pour that in first and just kind of see what the consistency is. You really want it to be pretty thick. 
So it's not quite as thick as I want, so I'm gonna add a little bit more powdered sugar. So now you're gonna take some plastic wrap, set it over top, and we'll wait for our dough to rise. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 350. So it looks like they have about doubled in size already. Push them down a little bit. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and get your egg wash ready. Once you have your egg wash ready, you can go ahead and start coating the cinnamon rolls here with that. Now we'll go ahead and throw this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. So after 25 to 30 minutes, you'll go ahead and pull the cinnamon rolls out of the oven. And you'll let it sit for about 15 minutes to cool before you add the frosting. After 15 minutes, you can now put the frosting on. And I usually just take a spoon and we'll work one at a time here. I always like to save a little bit more frostings when I take it out of the pan. You can add a little bit on top as well. Thanks for joining me this morning on Skillet Sundays. See you all next week.